Sure. So the main motivation or the, the observation is that uh, we noticed that among these three view of big data dimensions, we have the, the volume and the velocity. velocity, velocity. No. velocity. Yeah, so among these three, uh, three V of uh, big data, uh, the volume and the velocity were uh, like tremendously uh, supported. We have today a lot of uh, big data frameworks that allow to process batch of data or streams of data coming in real time. However, the velocity, the variety is not that uh, much supported or addressed. Of course, because of its complexity, we have a lot of data in different formats, and this data is stored in different uh, systems. So these systems they have their own uh, reading and writing rates, and they are different in format. So in order to extract knowledge and data from these different sources, you have to create a lot of uh, models, a lot of queries, and study which like source is more suitable to which uh, use case. So because of this, the the, the uh, variety dimension was like was left behind. That's why uh, we, uh, as semantic web and linked data people, we find or we see ourselves we're very well positioned to address this because we have already a long track of um, success stories with integrating different data from different data source and models into one model and then query it uniformly. So uh, where the semantic came uh, in the in the picture is we have the data lake the data lake is uh, the repo repository of data of any data that that's like company or, or whatever data you have you just dump it dump it in one place generally it's Hadoop but now we have a lot of NoSQL databases so any repository of data we have readily um, access to it so the idea the data as it is different they call this more data swamp because you have no metadata about what exists there and if you want really you have like precious thing but you don't know how to put your hands on so the idea of creating this uh, the, the idea of semantic data lake is to create a, a, a layer on top where you map dif different data into one uniform uh, model so this way you abstract away any differences you have in the data but the user sees it like if it's really uniform but then all this uh, query decomposition and source selection and which data is relevant and which part of data is needed in the query is, is in your shoulder now. The, you promise the user to, to uh, provide only one view of your heterogeneous data, but then there is a big work behind to, as I said, decompose the query and see which data is relevant. Of course, the work is not easy. As I said, it's a very complex uh, issue, but uh, thanks to our standards, W3C, like RDF, Sparkle, and all those sort of things, uh, we are to a large extent confident that that semantic data lake will work.